What is up? What is going on, everybody? I am back with another Seattle Mariners video. As always, before I get started, do me a favor, guys. Hit the subscribe button if you're new for more Mariners content. Mariners videos every day, live streams, post, uh, post-game post recaps. Um, so if you're a Mariners fan, I think you'll enjoy my channel. Hit the like button as well. That just gets this video out to more people. Let's YouTube know you're enjoying it so other people may enjoy it as well. Uh, the Mariners do make a roster move today. Um, in the slew of waiver uh, players that the Angels put on waivers, uh, the Mariners got one. Uh, reliever Dominic Leone, former Mariner, uh, is going to be coming back to the Mariners as they claim him off waivers from the Angels. Uh, no surprise the Mariners didn't get it on the other guys. They never made it to the Mariners. Giolito, um, Lopez, and Matt Moore are all going to Cleveland, who was ahead of Mar the Mariners in the waiver claim. The waiver claim goes in the reverse order of the standings. So Oakland's got the number one priority and, and so on going down. A um, little surprise, Cleveland claimed all three. Not going to lie. Don't really know if that fits them all that much. Um, I know some people kind of want a Giolito to give the team another starter, take the pressure off Wu and Miller. Um, I wasn't so much on that. I was fine with passing there. Uh, Lopez and Moore would have been interesting bullpen arms and the Mariners showed by picking up Leon they did have some interest in adding a bullpen arm um Hunter Renfro and Harrison Bader Bader from the Yankees were claimed by the Reds and Randall Gritchick was unclaimed so that'll be interesting to see Gritchick is someone that uh that might be of some help to the Mariners so the Mariners do add Dominic Leon we're gonna go over it look at him a little bit be a quick video nothing too long listen overall Dominic Leon's not been very good um in fact you, you could probably make the case he's been kind of bad but there is some upside we're going to get into. We've got his baseball savant page up here. First, I'm just going to go over his numbers, um, and then we're going to get into a couple of the positives that we have here for Mr. Leone. First of all, uh, Dominic Leone's pitched 43 and two-thirds inning this year, uh, 1.42 whip, 4.74 ERA. Does have 44 strikeouts, um, so that's a decent number. 20 walks plus a hit by pitch, and he's given up nine home runs this year. A FIP of 5.37 an XFIP of 4.70. So not very good. Uh, the strikeouts are okay. That's decent. Um, that can play, but the rest of it's all pretty bad. And it shows by the FIP and XFIP being very high. Let's go over to, as we have up here, his baseball savant page. So just so everybody knows when we're looking at these numbers here on savant, blue, bad. Grayish with is average. Grayish with a lean blue is below average. Grayish with pink is probably slightly not probably is slightly above average. Red really good. So what do we see here from Dominic Leone? And just so everybody knows, I'll give you kind of an explanation. Of this average average exit velo. This isn't one of those things where like a low number means low exit velo against him. This is his percentile ranking in inside the bubble here. So twenty seventh, meaning the average exit velo against Dominic Leone is good. Hitters are hitting him hard. He ranks poorly for pitchers. Uh, for percentiles, he's 27th percentile, meaning 73 pitchers, if he was in a row of 100, are better than him at preventing exit hard exit velo off the bat. So he's not good there. His hard hit percentage off him is very poor. Um, expected ERA and expected WOBA against him, he's very it's high. He's very poor at it. Um, expected batting average is very poor. Expected slugging percentage is very poor. Again, poor from the pitching perspective. Um, the barrel rate is poor, so people are hitters are barreling him up. They're slugging off of him, or at least they should be slugging hard off of him. The batting average against him should be hard, um, high. The exit ve velocity against him is high. Uh, strikeout percentage is slightly above average. He's walking, guys. His walk rate is not very good. Um, so that's all very poor. Th that's bad stuff. Just to give you an example, let me see if I can pull it up here, um, and we'll get back to Leon. But just to give you like a counter example of a pitcher, we're going to look at Matt Brash, who's kind of polarizing in the Mariners community. I think some people really like him, people really don't. Yeah, Matt Brash, really good. The walk percentage is the worst thing, and it's slightly below average. Everything else, ridiculously good for Matt Brash. Just to give you an idea of what we're dealing with here with Dominic Leon. Let's get back to Leon. However, there's two numbers here that do stand out, the whiff rate and the chase rate. People are swinging and missing at him. Now, it's not resulting in a ton of strikeouts, probably because all these numbers are really bad, but he is getting people to swing and miss, and people are chasing his pitches. 
if you're going to be good at two things in here, the fastball velocity and fastball spin looks decent. This isn't too bad. This isn't two things. How can I word this? If you're going to be good at only a couple things in here, that's not a bad couple bad things to be good at. So there is potential there. Guys are swinging and missing at his pitches, and they're willing to go outside the strike zone to swing at them. That can play. The Seattle Mariners do a great job with bullpen arms. They've done a fantastic job. We don't need to go through all the names, but we've seen what they've done with relievers before and how they've been able to find a pitch that works for them and help them to succeed. So there is something there in Leon. There is something to it. He's getting guys to swing and miss. So if you can harness that, maybe find a pitch that's working best for him, um, as the Mariners have done with other guys and other players, maybe this is something that he can, uh, you know, expand on and end up becoming pretty good. Uh, looking at his pitches here, um, the expected slugging against, the, they're all kind of bad. The cutter looks to be his best, um, although the lowest expected Woba against is his slider, um, and he's thrown the slider the least. The Mariners have a good history of getting pitchers to throw those sliders more and developing them. So maybe there's something there with Leon if he can throw the slider a little bit more. Um, you know, it, it can be, it can, you know, be a valuable pitch. Maybe it's the cutter as well. The expected slugging is the lowest on that. Listen, the numbers aren't very good. I, I can't spin this and say that, oh man, what a great pickup. But I think you look at these two numbers here, I think it's enough and it's worth taking a flyer on. If Leon doesn't work out, who cares? Like that's that's the bottom line here too. If he doesn't work, it's easy to get rid of him. Um, you can never have enough bullpen depth, so I'm not against this team going out and trying to add relievers that do have some positive qualities that they can maybe look into getting turned around. We saw them kind of work on that with Bizarro. We've seen it with Trent Thornton, and they're going to try it here with former Mariner Dominic Leone. So if they can somehow harness what's creating those high, and I don't know, like I'm going through, like I'm not a pitching coach. I'm not in player development. I don't know, but I see really high um, whiff percentage and chase rate. There's something in there that's positive. There's something Dominic Leone's doing there that is working. Now they've got to find a way to somehow harness that and help it equate to all these other numbers going down. And I believe in the Mariners' development. They've done a great job. We've seen them do it. So I believe they can maybe find something in here and make it work for Dominic Leone. And going into September, October in the pennant race, you can't have enough uh, relievers. So hopefully this is something that can work out. If not, not the end of the world. But I just want to give a quick video on it and my thoughts on Dominic Leone. So hopefully it's something that can help this team. We'll find out. Leone should be up. I would think he comes up. It looks like they were going to call up Sam Haggerty and Adam Aller. Uh, for September call-ups, my guess is it'll be Haggerty and Dominic Leone. So we'll see what happens there. Um, yeah, have a great one, everybody. Just want to make this quick video. Hope everybody has a great Thursday afternoon, and I will see you guys all next time. Take care, and as always, go Mariners. Peace.